with less than four months to the election, every politician needs be playing out their master cards. William Ruto being a presidential contender, he has applied various tactics that have placed him ahead of his opponent Rayla Odinga. Today here let's discuss three major tactics that has left Rayla's team struggle to catch up with. Number three on our list is, the bottom-up economic model. The bottom-up economic model could be one of the smartest campaign tool that the Rudos team came up with. The model is a blueprint targeting to promote investments of ordinary Kenyans, and empowering them financially so the country can generate taxes and spur the economy. The bottom-up economic framework is anchored on a program that promotes investment and financial instruments that targets millions who are unemployed. His supporters feel the solution to bridge the widening gap between the rich and the poor. He says other governments before him, have tried the trickle-down model which he feels did not have an impact on the common man. He argues that the resources only benefit those people on the upper part of the pyramid. Number 2. The Hustler Narrative It is now clear and evident that Ruto's slogan is resonating with millions of Kenyans who are majorly unemployed. The youths being the target, Deputy President is therefore placing himself as a person who deeply understands their problems and says he is ready to find the solutions. By him saying that, he will form the next government clearly means that the, the hustlers will also be part of the government. And if I may quote what he says in almost every rally is, some people are telling us that sons hustlers cannot be president, that your father must be known. He must be rich for you to become the president. We are telling them that even a child of Boda or a kiosk operator can lead this country. By now many Kenyans have started to appreciate the challenges of inequalities in society and any debate aimed at filling the gap between the poor and the rich resonates well with them. Before we proceed to our number one, kindly take a second and subscribe. Thanks you. And our number one is Ruto's big plans for the youths. Aspiring leaders approach each election cycle with various promises for different groups of voters and able to bag their support. But for us today let's focus on what William Ruto has for the youths. Part of his plans, Ruto has promised to set 100 billion funds which will support millions of young people to start their business and create jobs for themselves. He pegs his manifesto on the need to solve the problems of the youths first before addressing any other matter. He plans to achieve this through a focus on empowering small and medium enterprises by supporting them in their SACOs. And also transforming agriculture and make farming more profitable and attractive venture for the youths. Also the William Ruto highlighted that, the adoption of modern technology would go a long way in transforming the lives of the youths. He says that education and training should impart leadership and digital skills in every youths. This is because technology collaboration, innovation, teamwork and linkage building are indispensable for productivity and competitiveness. Thanks for watching kindly don't forget to subscribe. Bye bye for now, see you in the